Apart from Ethernet hardwired connections, Ubuntu comes ready to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Most Wi-Fi cards need a proprietary driver to work. Check on the top bar if you have a notification to install additional drivers or go to System Settings, Additional Drivers to see if you need to install a proprietary driver for your Wi-Fi card. If new drivers have to be downloaded for your Wi-Fi card, you will need a wired connection to the Internet before being able to use your wireless connection. If no driver is needed, your Wi-Fi is probably already working and you can see a wireless icon on the top bar of your desktop. Just click on it to see the available Wi-Fi networks around you. If your network doesn't appear, look under More Networks or Connect to Hidden Networks if your network is hidden. Click on your network, type in your password and you're ready to go. The system might ask you to type a keyring password to store your password on your computer. This way you won't have to type your Wi-Fi password every time you turn on your computer. However, if you choose to log in automatically, the system will ask for your keyring password before connecting. To avoid having to type your keyring password every time you log in, go to Edit Connections on the Network menu, then choose the connection you use and click on Edit. At the bottom of this window, check the box Available to all users. Once this is done, click on the Firefox icon and enjoy. Some plugins are not included in Firefox out of the box because they're non-free software. These plugins may be useful to watch flash videos, animations or use web applications. If you need these plugins, you might have to enable the Multiverse software source. We will see how to do this on the next video. You will then have to relaunch Firefox to use the new plugins. There are a lot of plugins available on the Firefox menu Tools, Add-ons. Next, we will learn how to install new software on Ubuntu.